Hello, 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 and welcome to another Rangaroo cast with me, Rangaroo. And today we are doing A4v4 on Flood, a map we haven't seen in quite a while. So, on the left hand side, playing as. Let me just check. Playing as Blue Fawn Team Run, we got Looker 26, Artia of Zia 3, and Empire of Mankind. Hell be him. And on the right hand side in red, playing as Redfall, we got Dr. Akula, Falconer, Dark Lord, and Le Heb. So, as usual, let's uh, speed up the deployment phase and get right to the good stuff. I like this map quite a lot because this canal plays quite an interesting dynamic. Because if you can get a helicopter rust across the canal and, you know, attack Hotel November or your opposite points on the same side, you can do quite a bit of damage as no one really expects it. And up here in the top part, you get a lot of fun tank battles. You've got a huge town where you can have some fun infantry battles. And Juliet's already is crazy for the armored warfare. You've got a nice amount of forests and towns to really have at it. So, anyone bringing up a plane? Any early game planes? None whatsoever. So we've got helicopters moving to Juliet from Blue Force side. Red Force going for a bit more of a land approach. Yeah, Blue Force getting quite a few helicopters. Even got a longbow. And we've got Prog, Super Cobras, Russ into the town. They are going to be Red Force here by quite a bit and get the foothold. And down here, Red Force moving their units down. Probably, I'm going to guess both sides are going to be putting large AA nets across the entire canal. You don't even need anything all that expensive, just some cheap man pad infantry is all you really need. And some reconnaissance, of course. You can you can never go wrong with too much reconnaissance. Better to be all seeing and completely blind. We've got infantry landing in the little factory in Juliet. And infantry already in the big middle town, and the Super Cobra already getting some ATGM shots off. Man, I think about unloading his PTR 80s now. We do have our first engagement. So the Chinook getting hit, the Super Cobra getting destroyed by the BTRs. Yeah, 14.5 millimeter machine guns racking them, and who should have really treated a bit back. Marines already in town, got some stingers as well. And we've got Fast Mover and Aardvark, oh yeah! Trove 227 kilogram bombs of rail of death, death and destruction. And the Russians, the Red Form, moving up onto the town. They do have very nice armor support from the BTRs and BMPs. And BMPs. But here comes the Aardvark, oh no, this is going to be quite costly. Oh, I see, that wasn't that bad. Yeah, the mod's directly just being right on the edge of that. Not taking too much damage. They are going to be getting a foothold onto the town. Just machine gun fire and traitors everywhere. Jeez, Louise. The Marines is getting suppressed to grab the string Furies and other helicopters trying to get close. But they're not going to be doing too much. It seemed like Blue Ford, even though they got the helicopters and got the foothold into the town, they didn't really get anything too substantial. Just a few Marines, a few Stingers. Not really all that much to com defend such a Russian force, but it's just two players attacking. We've got Dark Lord and the Heb, and even Falconer here. So, three players all concentrating on this one town. And this is quite a town to hold because this is this town, I keep saying that, it's the centerpiece of the map. By having this under your control, you can attack Echo, you can attack Juliet easily. You can move up into Bravo, and it's a very nice, easy defensive point. So this will be quite a boon to the Red Force side. Down below, yeah, during the canal, nothing really much. Both sides are setting up at AA Nets. A few gaps within the Blue Force side, but nothing too substantial. Juliet, rather quiet. Both sides just staying in their retrospective part of the town. That's the amazing. Red Force hasn't got some infantry in here, because this is a rather... Easy point to hold for Red Force. You get some good ATGM guys on here. You can shoot all the way down here and down here. 
The blue fort, I mean, the blue fort town here, it's rather pants. You do get a slightly bigger forest. Yeah, it's pretty much on par, but you can't really shoot into the enemy bridge area or enemy field from here. But anyway, red fort got the town under air control. Getting some long range ATGM shots. Got quite a few armored units back here, some Tunguskas, BMPTs, even a T-72 Opera. And the Spetsnaz Groove getting some elite sniper shots out. I have noticed that they don't have too much AA and um, I don't know, they have a decent amount. They got two Avengers and two Pivots, which are rather short range, small anti-helicopter AA. Nothing really too scary. Oh, they do have an eye hawk kill. But <laughs> A little bit out of fuel. So I think, yeah, I hope could only shoot a plane if it flies right over because this bloody ridge is blocking his line of sight. Yeah, good use of markers there. Blue for marking the red for armoured forces. Oh, this is a distraction match by an array, so it's all about the kills. Now we do have a little bit of a piss down here, T-80 is trying to move up into the forest, but they are unsupported. And that line from Trina Sound, N and M1 IP Abrams and M1, yeah, IP, not a run P, an IP. Sitting in this forest, waiting for the T-80s to move up. And the cooler getting some more Spetsnaz in there. It seems like Bluefall's going to be doing a bombing run. And that might just get the Spetsnaz, never mind. Yeah, is the oh yeah, is the screw you 1,000 kilogram version. I thought it was cluster bombs, but yeah, the F run run C Aardvark is probably one of the scariest bombers in game. Like I, I don't really crap my pants when I see a Nighthawk. I'm like, ah, oh, that's gonna kill one of my A units. Well, even an a B5, but I'm, that bloody Aardvark is 8,000 kilograms of death underneath its rings. And, and it spread Jap death over a large area. A scary Australian thing. Spetsnaz trying to move up there. That's quite a lot of riflemen and other armoured units in here, so I don't think we're going to do all that well. Even though we all know the Spetsnaz are the king of the forest fighting. MiG 25 doing some seed runs. Getting two pivots. Very well done here. It does get shot down in the end. MiG-29 dropping in some bombs, and that also got shot down, bloody hell, SU-24 also dropping bombs, and that also gets shot down, god damn, and that light hawk wasn't even joining in, to be honest, I have no idea what shot them down, like we got, we got the Avenger, and the Singers, which, yeah, pretty good job if it's just those two units shooting down the planes, but no, Red 4, they just have an ATGM line here. From Ban Tanks to Conquer's M's. This entire open field is definitely going to be a no man's land. Loco coming to help. And Blue 4 still having the forest on the air control. You know, the Red 4 are just literally at the tip. Oh god. Here comes the rocket artillery. Let's get a nice. Oh yeah. One thing I love about war game. Just the view of it all. And that is uh, it's just the game quite hot. Let's move back a wee bit. There we go. Longbow getting in quite close, getting shot by AA, yeah, yeah, and oh, that was a good kill, yeah. An easy 150 points of Red Fort. Blue Fort trying to move up on the town of Assault Engineers and then one on three, so they did disembark the Assault Engineers a little bit too far away. So they're going to take quite a lot of hits, especially from Specimen's group as they charge up into the town. The Bradleys and then one on threes trying to give fire support, but the yeah, Assault Engineers are just getting completely picked apart. BTL 60s moving up, gonna be killing that rifleman squad, and that M1 Abrams getting spotted. But damn, those ATGMs are rather inaccurate, even though they are Concours. There we go, get here. All it takes is one hit, and pop goes a resort from 1 and 3s moving up. 
I got some artillery from Blue Fall. I'm gonna feel in that super heavy artillery. Yeah, two paladins. There we go. Very nice artillery pieces. Just firing across map of extreme prejudice. And yeah, Red Force doing a fantastic job. They pretty much cleared the Blue Fall forces out of this forest town area here. They're moving off some BTLs to try and secure. Only two cavalry scouts in there. It's ain't exactly, ain't exactly scary. And if they can get some infantry in here, this would be another great. This has to be a fantastic foothold for Red Fall because they can start like spreading out into this forest, and from this forest, they can start hitting Bravo and Echo very easily. Blue Fall bringing up the reinforcements. Lots of M1 Abrams from the HC to the standard first, even an MBT-70. The Cobra just getting completely wrecked by AA. And now Red Fall have this town completely under their control. One minute one doing its best, but not getting too many kills. And here's the HC, but those Concours in the perfect position. Especially if you can get some side shots into that HC Abrams. Never mind, he turned around. And now he's reversing it. Oh, V reversed it a bit too close. Yeah, the upcoming days are going to get a back shot and badder bing, badder boom. Another good kill here from Redfall. Yeah, they have a bit of a movement down in Juliet. Redfall also trying to attack this area. But they're not really making too much progress. Bluefall got the AP and Bradley overlooking overwatch in the forest. The Tunguska again, a long range shot on her Apache, almost killing it. And this one missile is going to finish it off. And right it goes. We got artillery onto the town once again. And Red Fort, even though this is a destruction match, they're doing a fantastic job keeping up the pressure. As you can see, they're running by. Roughly 500 points, which is still a rather good margin. But they are just taking a lot of territory in a reasonable time frame. Yeah, it's a lot of F5. Jeez. We've got Bluefall trying to do a push up here, but they just got spotted and completely naked. Now the Marines and Diggers managing to survive, but they are going to get on crews by attack helicopters and infantry units. Oh, the Javelin in the perfect spot. Forced the MI-28 to flee a ray. And luckily for the MI-28, the Javelin missed first shot. The BTRD and VDV is getting in close. The KA-52 almost dead. He want to get that back to base. You do not want to lose a KA-52. And these Royal Marines and Infantry, they are just going to get eaten apart. A Eurofighter Typhoon trying to come in, but he back in immediately. I think he is trying to get a cooler kill. Red Bull trying to move up some infantry, just some um, North Korean militia. The yeah, just getting fired upon by these M113s. And these are the other M113s, as they have the 1919 machine gun. Or Trin 1919s, instead of the 50 cal. And that is, that is an old machine gun. Like the name suggests, it was invented in 1919. So, uh, pretty much a World War I machine gun. If you want to think of it like that. Now we got two MI-28 moving up, getting some long range shots on the APCs. Those Attica Vs not to be messed around with and Red Forge is soon a counter push onto the topside forest. And take a look down in Juliet, uh, Red Fall making a bit of progress, completely napalming, probably a Baratino it looks like. The Blue Fall factory. And they are moving up with infantry and mass bets now. BDVs and some bruise as well. It should be enough to really capture this entire place. The tanks will be a bit of an issue. But the infantry will just get well eaten up by all the fire right now. Oh, and the Abrams spotting the Spets. The Spets can't really do too much. But the BTRDs is firing at close range. And this Abrams, yeah, it's going to get killed by the BDP. The Rangers getting under the BTRDs and then immediately dead afterwards. 
Now the red forward, here we go. We got some heavy armor moving up. Gonna be encroaching the top side here. And oh my god, this is an MI24A. Don't see these guys all too often. It's, it's, it's pretty crap to be honest. Just get a D if you want to get a attack helicopter transport. There goes Emperor of Mankind. Probably gonna return back to his 40k universe. Red 4, I'll just put him on the presser. Blue 4 moving up more infantry. Got assault engineers, and this is actually a good use of assault engineers because once they get spotted, they're going to be very close to the enemy infantry. They are going to be moving up. They can't fire their flashes though while moving, so they're not going to be able to do too much damage, and they just get shot up by the machine gun fire. They might have to think about firing some smoke before actually advancing. Instead, they're going to be using some sensor artillery. They're going to be suppressing the. Uh, and then listen, here comes the Royal Marines, they're just getting shredded up the drone. Same with the diggers, there's so much machine gun fire from the Red 4 side. Oh, to your left. Blue 4 down, two men now. The A-10 Thunderbolt flying over and the evac in immediately. Very good bombing run on the Red 4 town. And continuous artillery support. But Blue 4, they still have an amount to get a foothold back into this area. And they are losing points like crazy. Red 4 at a 1,000 point lead. We got F1 on our part dropping its payload. A Raven trying to get some seed kills. MiG-21 PMs. Uh, yeah, 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 the AT PMs. Getting a few hits. And they might want to think about EVAC. And, and this Eichhorn, oh, it's out of bounds. I thought it was about to say, hasn't really shot anything. Bro, it has shot stuff, but never mind. It could you. Could use a bit of ammunition here. The A-10 Thunderbolt flying around. Managing to get a DSU-57 kill. Nothing all too fancy. And he is going to be evacuating. Taking a few hits. But hey, that's what the A-10 Thunderbolt is all about. Blue 4 moving up infantry on the top side through the valley. M-103 is bypassing the BTRs. Which are surprisingly out of fuel. But it should be a nice little beacon. Red 4 to spot his infantry and damn, he's M1 on 3, so just suffering def defections like crazy. But they are still alive, these BTRDs only have 7.60 machine guns. He's gonna be unloading the infantry, get the rocket shot off. Blue 4 once again trying to move up the infantry, but it's BTRD killing the diggers. Close range fire support, it's powerful 57 mils. Slow it down, here we go. Cinematic view, oh we got bombs landing right in. Same with artillery and kaboom. Yeah, the ZSUs are still alive amazingly and they are getting bombed to crap from artillery. I think that's a paladin suiting. Uh, Blue 4 getting more M1 Abrams, just the standard runs. And honestly, the standard Abrams, like, his completely rubbish. I would just, honestly, I would just spend a few extra points and get the IP Abrams. Or like an M60 at least. Because the standard Abrams is rather, rather mediocre. Yeah, Red 4 just gaining all that juicy, juicy points. Cleaning up the top side. And they already have Juliet completely under their control. Definitely going to be a victory for them. And they even killed a Patriot over here with some good old smirks. I feel like the smirk. Blue 4 doing continuous bombing runs onto the top side. You're a fighter typhoon also flying around. Red 4 really needs to get a few more AA units up. Bringing up a Tunguska and a book. Reading my mind. And even a Shulker. Always love a good old Shulker. Blue 4 just getting Abrams and the Combats. It, remember, it's, there's only two Blue 4 players now. So they can just spam the crap out of stuff. Oh, he is only bringing them up and run out of time. I hope he gathers them all in a big force and moves them up together. Instead of just... Um, you know, just doing one long convoy because they just get picked off like that. 
The Cougar cool getting killed. Oh, almost killed it. ZSU finally destroying it. Red 4 moving up into Bravo. They're going to be spotting out TACCOM, and he's probably going to meet a fiery death from the TO-55. Got the A-10 Thunderbolts. There we go. Flying around doing our thing. Oh, yeah. I do love seeing A-10s being used in a practical environment like that. Because A-10s, like in real life, yeah, are pretty pants. When there's AA about, but when there's no AA, they're pretty good. And with that, it will be a good game. Red for winning the match by quite a lot of points. Uh, 2,500 to be exact. And then a very, very good play uh, from Red Ford is keeping up the constant pressure, moving up, and gaining that centre town. Because that centre town is such an important like focal point of that map. Blue Ford, they did do a very good job getting that helicopter infantry and rushing them into that town but they just didn't have enough meat in there quite literally meat bags to really hold their own but quite a good effort nonetheless they managed to stall off red four for quite a time but red four with a constant napalm and heavy armor and all that other good stuff just managed to prevail in the end and a rare another fun cast and that's all i have time for this has been another angry cast i hope you guys enjoyed the video and as usual, please just take it easy.